This task is the day-night stroop. Are you ready? Let's play another game. Let's look at some pictures. Do you know which one is in the sky during the day? That one. Great job! Do you know which one is in the sky during the night? That one. Great job! Now we're going to play a silly game with these pictures. This is how the game works. When I say day, you point to the moon. And when I say night, you point to the sun. Let's practice. Day. That's right. Night. Remember, this is a silly game. When I say night, you point to the sun. And when I say day, you point to the moon. Let's try again. Day. That's right. Awesome job. Now let's play this game some more. If the child continues to make mistakes, re-administer the practice trials with corrective feedback until they understand how to play the game. If the child gets the wrong answer more than four times, they're not likely to get it right even with subsequent practice, so go ahead and play the game at that point. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Day. If the child does not respond after two seconds, simply circle, fail to point, and go to the next item. Night. Night. Day. This is an example of a self-correct, because first she reached for the sun, and then she pointed to the moon. night. After the first five trials, read the instructions that are listed between trial five and trial six just to remind the child of the rules of the game. This sure is a fun game. I like playing it with you. Remember, when I say day, you point to this one. And when I say night, you point to this one. Ready? Mm -hmm. Night. Day. This is another example of a self-correct. She briefly pointed to the sun and then got the correct answer by pointing to the moon. Night. Day. Day. Okay, good job with that game. We're all done. This task is called Knock Tap. It is important not to wear any watches or jewelry on your hand that you'll use to knock and tap. During this task, use your dominant hand to write, in this case my right hand, and your non-dominant hand to knock and tap. If you used your dominant hand to, to knock and tap, you'd have to pick the pencil up and down 18 times during the task, which can be distracting to a kid like Mark. <laughs> Also, it's important not to have watches or jewelry on the hand you'll use to knock or tap. If you can't avoid wearing a watch or jewelry on that hand, simply take any jewelry on that hand and place it on the other hand or out of sight during that task. It is important that the child complete this task using their dominant hand, because four-year-olds often don't know which is their dominant hand, the first instruction asks the child to make an X in the circle at the top of the page. Don't worry if the child makes a scribble or other mark. All you're really looking for is to see which hand they use. Before we play this game, I want you to make an X inside the circle at the top of this page. Here, okay. use your pencil. Or my pen. Good job! Now we're going to play a game with our hands. Put that hand on the table and keep that hand in your lap. Watch me. When I knock on the table like this, I want you to knock on the table too. Okay. 
Now you try it. Good job. When I knock, you knock. Put your hand flat to get it ready. Watch me again. When I tap on the table, like this, you tap on the table too. Good job. It is important for the knock to be as distinct as possible from the tap. So use an open hand to make a soft tapping sound on the table. Do not make a loud tapping sound with your whole hand like this or like this. Instead, use an open hand and the soft part of your palm to make a quiet, soft tapping sound like this. The child can make any sort of open hand tapping sound. The important thing is for the examiner's gestures to be as distinct as possible. Okay, let's start the game. Do exactly what I do. When I knock, you knock. Good. And when I tap, you tap. Good job. Before beginning the first set of trials, ask the child if he or she is ready. You can prompt the child as many times as needed before the trial to make sure they're watching and paying attention. You cannot repeat the gesture, so it's important to make sure the child is looking and paying attention before you knock or tap. Are you ready? Yes. After the first six trials, read the instructions for the next set of trials. That was really fun. Now we're going to play a different way. This way is pretty tricky. When I knock like this, you tap. And when I tap like this, you knock. Let's practice. Ready? Yes. Almost. Remember, when I tap, you knock. Okay. And when I knock, you tap. Let's try again. Good job! Let's try another one. That's right! When I knock, you tap. If the child continues to make mistakes during the teaching trials, feedback may be offered as many times as necessary until the child learns to tap when the examiner knocks and to knock when the examiner taps. Okay, let's start the game. Remember, this is a tricky game. When I knock, you tap. And when I tap, you knock. Are you ready? Yes. Corrective feedback cannot be given during the testing trials. Simply record the child's response. Look over here. It's important before each trial to make sure the child is looking at you or looking at your hand. You may prompt as many times as necessary before a trial to make sure the child is looking at you. Get your hand ready. Before each trial, the child's hand should be placed flat on the table. This is one way of knowing they're ready, and it makes the trials as similar to each other as possible. After the first six trials in this block, read the rule reminder regardless of child responses. Even if they got all the answers right or all the answers wrong, still read the rule reminder. Remember, this is a tricky game. When I knock, you tap. And when I tap, you knock. Ready? Yep. Did anyone catch the mistake? It's easy to lose your place. Item number eight is tap, and I knocked.
Enough practice should prevent these kind of mistakes from happening. But if you make this mistake, simply ignore the child's response and then go back to the item that you should have administered. So for eight, the stimulus is tap. I knocked. I don't write anything down about what he did because it was my mistake. And now I'll go and do what I should have done on number eight. Get your hand ready. Get your hand ready. Okay, good job with that game. We're all done. You can go back to your class.